Number six, Notre Dame, sitting at 5-0. and They will be at Virginia Tech, who sits at number 24 at 3-1 record. It'll be 8 p.m. on Saturday on ABC. Jeff, taking the Fighting Irish, I assume, because uh, you love them so much. Book, the new quarterback for Notre Dame, uh, is the difference in this one. If they're still going, if he isn't the starter and they go back um, to the pass and, and start playing players that shouldn't be playing, I think Virginia Tech comes away with this one playing a little bit of Beamer ball without J- Beamer as the coach. But there's nothing that you can tell me that that will make me choose Virginia Tech over Notre Dame, except that Notre Dame is due, as they do every year, will lose a random game or two uh, mm-hmm. to knock them out of the playoff. It will be one we're not expecting. When everyone thinks that they're going to smother Virginia Tech, they'll, they'll lose by two touchdowns. And that's just how Notre Dame goes every year. All right, so which way you rolling then? Notre you Dame. Kinda, you're going with Notre Dame? Yeah, Notre Dame is favored by six in this game. Uh, but, I mean, the Hokies are coming off a big win over Duke. Duke was ranked number 22, and, and now Virginia Tech has moved into the rankings, sitting at 24. And uh, I don't know, man. Like I, I feel pretty good overall about the Hokies. I haven't felt that great about Notre Dame. Two weeks ago, we, Virginia Tech was ranked number 13. Yeah. They're back in it. <laughs> right. were, were they out last week or have they, they just moved down? Week. Yeah, they were out of okay. the rankings last week. All right. That's why that's what I thought. Two weeks ago. That's why I said they've moved into the top twenty five. <laughs> Leave me alone. You started making me question myself. Well they, they, well, they had that they had the big loss to Ohio or Ohio. Uh Old Dominion. When they had to go on the road to Old Dominion's five thousand student stadium. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, you, you aren't used to playing in that environment. And then come uh, back to beat a ranked Duke team the very next week. Right, exactly. And they beat FSU 24-3. They almost shut them out Florida in the bad season opener. bad this year. Really bad this year. Well, but they were ranked number 19 to start. Preseason rankings, John. <laughs> you're saying they don't matter? Uh, yes. I feel like you're saying they don't That's matter. That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. This, this is another good one. And the Virginia Tech quarterback last week, Jackson, had 575 yards. Or no, not last week. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Continuing that's on. A, that's, Virginia, his, that's his season stats, 575. <laughs> yeah, he played really well last game and got all of them. <laughs> just in that so who are you game. picking, John? <laughs> I'm going to go with the Hokies. I'm going with oh! the underdogs this week. I'm going with the upsets. I'm I'm feeling good, and as you said, Notre Dame is due a loss at some point because they do it every single year, and I'm tired of rooting for Notre Dame to actually win a game, and I, I think I have I only done it right. one week this year so far. I um, hope you're right. I had Stanford last week, and they ended up losing, but yeah. they just couldn't get it going in the run game. So Virginia Tech, for me, yeah, we'll see what happens. 